Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in case you are interested in installing a custom ROM which is based on Android 13 on your Google Pixel 6a, Google Pixel 6 Pro, Google Pixel 6, Google Pixel 7 Pro, and the Google Pixel 7, then we are going to install Paranoid Android in this video. Now, what are the prerequisites for you to install a custom ROM on your Google Pixel device? Well, for starters, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader. Now, how do you unlock the bootloader on your device? Video for that can be found in the description of this video. Next thing you need to make sure is that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device. The last thing which you need to remember is that you need to have the drivers installed on your computer. So you need to have fast boot drivers and you need to have fast boot D drivers installed. How do you do that for your devices? Video for that can also be found in the description of the video. And last but not the least, all the websites, all the relevant links which we are using in this video can be found in the description of the video as well. All right, so this here is my Google Pixel device and right now I am on Android 13 with October security patch. The first thing you need to do is you will go into settings. Once you're in settings, go into security, remove your fingerprint, face unlock if you have set those things up. Next thing we need to do is we will go into passwords and account and then we need to remove any Google accounts which are present on your device. Once you have done these steps, the next thing you need to do is reboot your device. So you can swipe down from your quick settings panel, tap on this power button and then say restart. And before you ask me, hey Manchi, why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We're doing this because we are switching ROMs and in case you do not remove your account then you have to sign back into that same account when you install a new custom rom for the first time and to avoid that situation we just prefer to remove all the accounts and security measures before we install a custom rom on our google pixel device now once we have rebooted our device the next thing we need to do is we need to boot into fast boot or bootloader mode how do you do that so for google pixel devices you are going to access your quick settings panel tap on this power button on the bottom right on the next pop-up screen we are going to select restart and as soon as the screen goes black you are going to press and hold volume down again press and hold volume down and there it is you can see we have successfully booted into fast boot mode on this specific device now once you've booted into fast boot mode the next thing you need to do is connect your device to the computer using a usb cable moving over to the computer the first thing you need to do is you need to download adb and fast boot so here it is we are on the official developer.android.com and you have to download adb and fast boot or sdk platform tools is what they call it for your operating system windows mac or linux next thing you need to do is download the paranoid android rom which is based on android 13 for your google pixel device so on the left you have the menu and these are the devices for which the rom is available at the time of recording this video and you have to go into that specific device in my case i'm using the google pixel 6a and then for the purpose of this video we're going to select fast boot option because that is the version of the rom which we are going to use and then once you have downloaded these files, I do recommend that you place them inside one folder. In my case, here it is. This is the Paranoid Android ROM based on Android 13 for the Google Pixel 6a. And then this here is Platform Tools or ADB and Fastboot for Windows. Now, Platform Tools, you need to extract this. So either you can use WinRAR or you can use the inbuilt Windows Archive Extractor. In my case, I am using WinRAR. So I'm going to select over here, Open, 
and I got that open menu by right clicking and then for the trial we can just close it and I'm going to select extract to and this is the path where it is extracting it to and we are going to select okay now once it has extracted successfully let us go inside this folder and here then you have another platform tools folder wherein you have your adb and you also have your fast boot now let us go back to the main folder where we have our rom so we're going to select the rom itself which is paranoid android and then right click and say cut once that is done we will go inside platform tools go inside platform tools one more time wherein you have adb and you have fast boot and here in we are going to right click and then we can say paste so now we have moved the paranoid android android 13 rom to our platform tools folder next thing we need to do is we need to open a command prompt in this specific folder mac and linux users will need to open terminal so for windows it is pretty easy you tap on the address bar make sure everything is highlighted and selected and then you type in cmd and press the enter key and bam here it is this here is command prompt and as you can see by the path it is in the very folder where we have adb fast boot and our paranoid android rom which is based on android 13 for our google pixel 6 a the first command we are going to type in is to detect whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not the command for that is fast boot space devices mac and linux users you will have to add dot slash before fast boot and then we are going to press the enter key and there it is you can see that my device is being detected in fast boot mode now what if your device is not being detected in fast boot mode if that is the case then you do not have the drivers installed and videos on how to install the drivers can be found in the description of this video the next command we are going to execute is going to wipe out everything on your device and this is as good as a factory reset so the command for that is fast boot space hyphen w again mac and linux users you will need to enter dot slash before fast boot and then we are going to press the enter key and there it is you can see that erasing user data and then erase was successful so now we have successfully cleared out the user data the next command we are going to execute is to install the paranoid android rom which of course is based on android 13 on our google pixel 6a so the command for that is fast boot space update space the name of the file now the easiest way for you to type in the name of the file is to just drag and drop this file to your command prompt so here it is we drag and drop it and as you can see the name along with the full path of the file was plugged in to the command so again fast boot space update space path of the file and just drag and drop and then press the enter key and there it is you can see that it is now flashing the paranoid android rom to our device the device is automatically rebooting no need to panic it is saying waiting for any device and once that is done it should continue with the flashing process so at this point the device has booted into fast boot d mode and this process will take some time so you have to be patient now once the process has finished successfully on your command prompt you will be back to the path and on your phone it is going to reboot automatically and there it is we do have the google logo and now we have the paranoid android boot animation on our google pixel 6a at this point feel free to disconnect your device from the computer and of course the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and here it is we are on the home screen let us go into settings then we can go into about phone android version here it is android version is 13 paranoid android version is 
the topaz beta 1 which is the latest at the time of recording this video and there it is peeps that is how you install the custom rom paranoid android based on android 13 on your google pixel devices which includes the pixel 6 pro the pixel 6 the pixel 7 the pixel 7 pro and the google pixel 6a